There we go. Good evening again. All right. So welcome to Bodyweight Burn. So as you can see in the back, all we're going to need today is a yoga mat or enough space for us to lie down towards the end. So with that all said, let's get started with our warm up. So first thing, let's do a little jog in place. Nice and easy on the feet. And for the arms, I want to bring them out to the side and do small circular rotations moving forward. Again, very light on the feet. We're not going for high jumps or anything like that. Nice and easy for the warm up. And let's start moving our arms backwards. A couple more seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. Next up, let's go into some squats here. We're going to squat down, and as we come up, reach for the ceiling. Taking your time with your squats if needed, going a little bit deeper if you can after each rep. And reaching up, and I want you to squeeze your back a little bit as you reach up. So squeeze the back. You're going to feel like you're bringing your arms behind you just a little bit here. Two more. Good squeeze, last one. And excellent. Next up, let's go into some push-ups. So with me, walk to a plank. And you can do this on or off the knees. So push up now, as low as you can go. If you're on your knees, make sure your glutes are nice and tight so that you're not bending at the hips. Tight glutes for straight hips. Two more. Last one here. Perfect. Next up, walk to a plank with me. Going down and up. Still reaching up for the ceiling. Hold the plank for one second, and then walking back. Let's do two more. And last one coming up. Hold that plank and back up. A few more seconds. Let's do some jumping jacks now or side to side if that's easier for your joints. Keeping it going. Getting that heart rate up. Three, two, one, and last move for the warm up some high knees. Get those knees up to your hips. Three, two, one, and all done with that. All right, so for our rounds today. Just like in our last session, we're gonna do one round of 30 seconds each, followed by a second round of 40 each, and then on the third, it's gonna be 50. And then we'll do some core work for the last four or five minutes of today. So, first thing I wanna do is called the squat jack. So with this one, arms will be up, we'll jump to our side, bend the knees, and let the hands tap the knees right here before we jump back up. So with me, down and up. Nice and easy here. Down, up. Down, up. Notice the back. It's nice and flat. We're not going to round or lean forward. We want to look straight ahead. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, last one. And good with that. Next up, we're going to do what I call tricep push ups. If this is too much for anyone, you can do a rolling push up instead. So, real quick, here's the easy variation down, down, up, up. Otherwise, come with me and we're going to go down, keeping our hands on the floor, and then we press our elbows off the floor like so. So, that's the workout. You can do this on or off the knees. Keep that in mind. So, going down and up. Serious workout in the triceps here. Requires a lot of power without any weights. 
And again, to make it tougher, knees off the floor. Whew. Nice and easy on your mat, all the way down. And then power through on the way up. Five seconds. Let's do one more here. And good, all right. Standing up, we're gonna move on to our next exercise. For this one, we've done something like this a few weeks ago, and I wanna bring it back. Diamond hop, so pretending there's a small ball in the center of your four corners for that diamond. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, hitting all four corners of that small diamond. So feel free to use your hands to swing and bring yourself to a larger diamond if you want to do that. Otherwise, if you want quick feet, keep the hands where they are. That'll get the heart rate up. But again, if you want to go for bigger jumps with me, one, two, three, four, just like that. Keep it going. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Done. All right, next up, push up jacks. So I think for this one, I'll come a little bit closer. And I'm gonna pan this down just a tiny bit. So in the push up position, we're gonna go out and in with the legs. Here's how I want it to look. Three times like so on the way down. So with me, one, two, three. And on the way up, it's again, three. One, two, three. Go with that pace if you can. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep it up. One, two, three. One, two, three. If that's too much for anyone, you can push up. Side step, side step. Push up. Side step, side step. So you got options. Last one. Hold the plank and all done. All right, next up we have cross jacks. So with the feet, cross, back, other side, back. All right, with the arms, I want to bring one arm up, bring it down, other side, up and down. That's how it looks. So catch your breath. Talking to myself, really. Catch your breath. We're going to go in three, two, and one. Cross, cross, cross. So this is the pace I'm going to stick with for this first set. If you want to go a little faster or slower, that's up to you. Get that arm right over your head. Right over your head. Nearly done here, we got three, two, one, and done, all right. The last exercise, we're gonna be back in plank position. Now you can do this one, again, on or off the knees. The idea here is working the glutes, more so than the core. So we'll lift up one leg, for 15 seconds we'll squeeze and squeeze. When we're halfway there, I'll say switch, so we switch sides, squeeze at the glutes. Ready, pick a leg, and go up, up. Just like that. Again, if you want to work your core and glutes, just get that knee off the floor. Three, two, one, switch legs, go, go. Keep the hips low if you're off the knee like I am. A lot of people tend to lift up the hips like this, we're not doing that today. Not today. Three, two, and one. And that is it for the first round. We're gonna do everything just two more times. Again, we're gonna do 40 seconds for everything for this round, but the breaks themselves are still just 30 seconds. So, quick reminder here, just a demo. We're gonna do arms up. We're gonna go right into a squat and let the side of the hands tap the knees before we come back up. Ready? Let's go. Find the pace that works for you. I think in the second half, I'll go just a little faster. Again, 
Watch your back. Make sure it's nice and flat. We don't want to round the back. We're not going to fold ourselves like this. When we squat down, we want to look straight ahead. 10 seconds. I'm going to go a little faster here. Last one. Good. All well done with that. Okay. Going back into our tricep push ups. So dehydrated today. So, again, if you need to, you can do rolling push ups, one arm at a time, or you can do both arms with me. Keep the hands in place and let the elbows go down and up. All of the knees is up to you. Three, two, one. Nice and easy here. This should be slow on the way down and explode on the way up. Slow on the way down and power up. Down nice and easy. Do what works best for you. If you need a break at any time, you take it. I know we have breaks after each exercise, but if you need to catch your breath or you need an extra sip of water, you take it. We have about 12 seconds to go. See how many you can get in that time. Ah. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. All right, let's stand back up. Going back into our diamond hops. So if you want to do small jumps, going real quick, get the heart rate up, you can do that. But if you want power for your legs, a little more strength, you go long and you swing those arms. All right, so power or speed, that's up to you. Three, two, I'm gonna go with speed myself. Ready, let's go. One, two, one, two, keep it going. Find your balance. And we're halfway through. Keep it going. Light on the feet. Try not to stop like that. You want light feet. Keep your heels off the floor if you can. Three, two, one. Done. Gets the heart rate up. Not big jumps for the speed, but it definitely elevates that heart rate. Okay, going back into our push-up jacks. So I'm gonna lower this a little bit again. There we go. Bring this in. Getting into plank position. Remember with the feet, we wanna do those jacks. Three times on the way down, and three on the way up. Plank position. Let's go. Again, if this is too challenging for anyone, you can try push-ups first, and then sidestep, sidestep. You can do that off the knee, sidestep, sidestep, or on the knee. And then side and side, all right? So do what works for you. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one more. Done. Okay, back to the cross jacks. We pan up again. So, crossing the feet like so, and then raising one arm at a time, alternating which leg goes in front and which arm comes up. Catch your breath. Three, two, stance like so, cross, and go. We want faster pace here. Fast pace, try to get that heart rate up. Keep it up. Keep it going, halfway through. 15 seconds. Light on the feet. Make sure you look straight ahead and not at your feet. That's not the idea. Three, two, 
One more, and dive. Back down into plank. We're working the glutes. So again, on and off the knee, that's up to you. We're only gonna do 20 seconds for each glute. Keep that in mind. So again, on and off the knee, like so, or lift up that leg. Watch your hands, keep them right under the shoulder. Three, two, I'm gonna start with on the knee here. Now I can do off the knee, I might do that for the next side. Right here, I'm trying to catch my breath so I can keep going. You can do the same at home. Three, two, one, switch legs and go. Go, no breaks here, no breaks in between switching. Ten seconds. Hips are low. Three, two, one more. Done. All right. End of round two. Round three is the longest. Fifty seconds of everything. Starting with the squat jack. So I'll bring this back a little bit. Now again, go at the pace that works for you for the squat jacks, all right? Make sure your back is nice and flat, look straight ahead. And we're gonna go in three, two, I'll start in the front. Go! Back is nice and flat. And if you haven't already, I want you to watch out for how low you're going into your squat. I wanna encourage everyone watching to go as low as you can. If you have to do a half squat, that's all right. Or if you're just gonna go out and in, that's okay. But that's if you're real tired and you just can't squat anymore. Otherwise, go deep in your squat. Keep it going. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and all done. Woo. Going back down into tricep push-ups or rolling push-ups. Yeah, for that, I'll be right here. On and off the knee, that's up to you. I'm gonna say on my knees for this one because the triceps are tough. Five seconds, get into position. Three, two, one and down nice and slow and then pop back up. Down nice and slow, pop back up. Again, rolling push-ups if you need to, if the triceps are too much. Nice squeezing the glutes so we're not pushing ourselves back like this. We don't want any of that. You come out like so. We got about 20 seconds left of this. Straighten out those arms as much as you can on the way up. Really squeeze on the triceps. Almost done here. We got five seconds. Let's do one more. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Diamonds are next. All right, so diamonds, you're gonna do either the small sprint or you'll do power with a good swing of the arms, really working on leg strength there. All right, let me move that back a little bit more. I'm gonna go for power this time because I did speed last. Three, two, one, let's go. Up. I'm gonna try and pick up my pace a little bit once we get about halfway through. I'll let you know when that happens. Keep the feet close together. They don't have to be touching, they just have to be close. All right, we're halfway through. Let's go for a little more speed here. Do a side view, watch the back. For those of you doing power, back is nice and flat. 
Good swing of the arms. Moving forward as you jump. <sighs> Nearly done here. Five seconds. <sighs> Three, two, one more. <sighs> there we go. All right. Going back into push ups for those push up jacks. <sighs> so I'll pan down again. I know I'm panning up and down quite a bit. I hope that's not too bothersome for anyone. All right, 10 seconds to go. So do what's best for you for the push-up jack. Actually, I think for this one, I'll stick with the side view. Ready, plank, and let's go. One, two, one, two, keep it going. Remember, if it's too much jack and push-up, you can do on, the knees for a push up and then side step. So that one's on the knee, on the knee. The other one is off the knee. Plank and push up, side step, side step. Another variation for you. I'm feeling tired. I think I've got to stick with on the knee myself. Down, up, side, side. Do what works for you. We got five. Seconds, let's try one more. Side, side, down. Okay, we got cross jacks next. So crossing the feet, and then lifting the arm, if you can. 20 seconds now. I'm almost getting winded. Keep that heart rate up for this final set of cross jacks. Keep it up. So find the pace that works for you to keep that heart rate up. Ready? And wide stance. And go. Back is nice and flat. Remember that. Look ahead to the horizon. Keep it going. We're about halfway through. So if you need to speed up or slow down at this time, go for it. Get that hand right over your head. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, die. Woo okay, I'm gonna go right into my plank position for this final exercise for the round. Remember, working on the glutes. This time it's gonna be, excuse me, 25 seconds of everything. 25 seconds on one side, 25 on the other. So, plank position now, because we're gonna go in three, two, I'll start with this side on the knee. Straighten out that leg and pulse. Pulse, be mindful of your back here. Watch your lower back. Don't let the core or the stomach drop and then you're over arch like this. This does not look good. Keep that back nice and flat by keeping a nice tight core. Five seconds and then we switch. Couple more. Three, two, one. Woo! I'm going to stay on the knee. <laughs> Core is tight. Again, we're not arching the back like this. Keep that core tight. We're not rounding the back either, so make sure your upper back is tight and your core. Squeezing that glute. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and all done with that. Okay. Moving on, we're going to work on our core. So we got about four or five minutes left here. We got a minute to go before we do the core. First thing I want to do, I usually start with plank, but I switched it up this time. We pan down just a little bit more. 20 seconds of everything, but we're going to start on our back. So we're going to do a little raise to the side and the side like so with your hands right by your glutes. 20 seconds of that, and then 10 seconds to switch to a plank position where we're gonna do side knee, 
Side knee, get that knee up, away from the floor. Going back down into our back, or onto our back, excuse me, for bicycles. And then after that, we're back in a plank position for mountain climbers, all right? So, two sets of everything, 20 seconds per exercise with just enough time to go from one position to the next. All right, so on the floor, three, two, hands on the floor, and sideways to the left, and grace down his legs to the right. Now my legs are a little straight here. There's a slight bend in the knee, but if you need to tuck in instead to make it a little easier, you can do just that. So do what works for you. Straight legs are a little harder. Last one. Good, all right, going back into plank. And we're gonna do our side knees. Three, two, one, go. Side, side. Nice and easy here. I wanna focus on form here, not speed. I know we don't have much time, but I'd rather form is perfect than going as fast as I can in that short amount of time. Focus on that squeeze on the side. Last one, done. All right, going into bicycle. So lying on your back, lying down, hands behind the head, ready, go. Elbow to knee, elbow to opposite knee. Again, going nice and easy with the speed and focus on form. Get that elbow to your knee. Five seconds, four, three, two, one more. All right, and now this one is all about speed. Mountain climbers, in plank position, ready, set, go, go. Just like that, speed. See if you can go a little faster than me. Watch out for your hips, don't let them come up. Keep them low. If you can keep them low, you're gonna work your core that much better. Five seconds, three, two, one, time. One more set of everything. It's gonna be about two minutes left now, two minutes. Lie down, hands by the hips, and sideways, sideways. Make it a V with the legs, whether they're straight or semi-straight like mine, or if you need to bend them in a little bit more. Keeping the knees at 90 degrees. <sighs> Almost done, last one. Good. Point position. Crunching the side with your knee. Bringing that knee as close to your shoulder as you can. Plank and go. Go. Eyes on the floor in that space between your hands. Your hands should be just under the shoulders and the hips are nice and low. Two more. Last one. Good. One more time lying down. Bicycles next. Hands behind the head. Three, two, one, go. Try not to go too fast here. Focus on form. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Up. And our last exercise. Go fast, fast, fast. Ready? Finish strong. Three, two, mountain climbers. Let's go. Keep going. Hips low. And try and pick it up. Last 10 seconds. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Done. And that is it for today. So thank you all for joining me at this time. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or you can always email us as well. And again, my name is Ryan. And have a great rest of your day. Take care.